So we're here at uh, Solvay. So who are you? So we are Solvay Specialty Polymers. We are specialists in uh, very high performance materials. So here we are exhibiting our um, piezo electric electroactive materials. So what, what is this? So this is a piece of it's a capacitor structure made of our electroactive uh, piezoelectric polymer with printed silver electrodes. So this can be used either as a sensor or as an actuator. Sensor so or as an, an actuator. Yes. So a sensor is like a sensor of what? Sensor. A piezoelectric material is a material that will react to any mechanical stress received by generating an electrical field. And conversely, if you apply an electrical field to the material, it will actuate, it will deform. And you so, can generate some vibration. You can make it you can make this a loudspeaker. So it can be a speaker. It can be a loudspeaker. But what does that to do with the sensor? That's the other That's one? That's the converse effect. If you press imagine you have to press the this is connected to some uh, electronic device, you press it by applying a mechanical stress to the material, you will generate an electrical field that can be detected. So it's like a button. It's like a button, a switch. It's a switch. Yes, could be. A switch or uh, what, what kind of other uh, end user, end uh, industry application is going to be? Like speakers, switches? Okay, pressure sensor. Um, so you can measure how much pressure there is? You can, match, you can pressure how much pressure because the electrical field you will get out of it is completely proportional to the mechanical stress applied. Is it very precise? It is. Even with printed electronics? Of course. So you're doing printed electronics, right? Yeah, well, we are producing raw materials and we have partners that are making the devices out of that. So what is the raw material? Um, it's it's uh, fluorinated polymers that are inherently piezoelectric. So, so they can be printed. You don't need any mechanical post treatment. You can formulate them. We formulate them into ready-to-use inks that can be printed on a flexible substrate or whatever. Low temperature process. Are you the first company in the world who's able to do printed at the speakers? We don't you, do. We, you you, uh, you we will be able to make it happen. Yeah, it's it's already it, uh, there are already demonstrators with our material. In so it's demonstrators in for now. How soon is it uh, mass production and uh, uh, big quantities, real products? The product is commercial. It is commercial? It is commercial. The product is, we have been working on these products for many years, it's commercial. Uh, we, our partners are developing prototypes, so are ready to get commercial as well. We also have some commercial application of it already. All right. What is this one? It's the same, except it's the same type of things. It's a larger size, it's also silver. Inkjet silver, uh, inkjet printed silver electrodes. Mm. This one has been encapsulated in a kind of two layers of PET, so it's more rigid. But it's the same. Uh, so they could also be coming sound of it or measuring the pressure. Absolutely. Put Absolutely. against it. And, uh, and right the here. The interest of the product as well is, you see, is, is the, the electroactive material, the piezoelectric matter, is, is really fully transparent. Of course, the silver electrode is not, but the material is really transparent. If we put it here, it is transparent. It is flexible. So that, that part is transparent? No, that's not. The electroactive matter. All right. The printed, the silver is not transparent yes. as it is. However, we can use um, other type of samples, other type of conductive material for electrodes like bit of pieces that are more transparent. Okay, that's good. So what you do is everywhere on, on this or? What we do is we produce the electroactive piezoelectric polymer, which is the transparent uh, film, if you will here. So you, you make a transparent film we and make, on top of that there's some silver stuff materials going on. We make transparent, we make the polymer that can be printed or casted in a film. Right. And then you can print on top of it the bottom and top electrodes you need to make the device. So wh where is uh, the company from? Solvay is a Belgium group. And Solvay Specialty Polymers is headquartered in Italy.
Close to Milan. And uh, how long has Solve uh, been doing what kind of things before? Solve is uh, celebrated its 150th anniversary in... Um, 50? 150, yes. 150? Yes. So doing what? Two years what? ago, in 2013. <laughs> doing, doing what? Doing chemicals and polymers, mainly. Chemicals, polymers and... Mm. And this is now the printed electronics uh, conference. What do you we, think about this conference? It's a very interesting conference. Many, many people visiting, visiting it. And it's for us a very good opportunity to meet uh, our partners and uh, customers and find new ones.